What book is it referring to? This is referring to all the other scriptures that was sent. What before. other scriptures? It's talking about the Quran, the revelation sent down. What other scriptures existed? It's talking about the Holy Quran here, brother. So no, some, <laughs> no, some, it's not. Some, God is. Listen, God is. Some are pres to listen, brother. The, there's he no argument there. This down. is referring to the Holy Quran. No, it's the, not. Yes, Can you show brother, it to me where where it says brother, it's referring that is to the what Quran? It's referring to. Look, he is the one who has revealed to you, O Prophet, Allah revealing to Muhammad the Prophet. What is he revealing to Muhammad the Prophet? The Quran, brother. It is not talking about any other scriptures. He is the one who has revealed to you, O Prophet, the book, the Quran. He didn't reveal any gospel to him. He didn't reveal the Old Testament. He didn't reveal the Torah to him. He revealed the Quran, brother, to him, okay? So let's let's not get this confused. What was he translating if the original writings are in Koine Greek? Is, yes, um, is this when going he was translating, when he was translating the original scriptures, don't what you think he might have made a mistake? Don't you think he might have interpreted what, what original scriptures was he translating? The original scripture of the uh the book that's that was sent to uh jesus peace be upon the angel that we say what book matthew book. mark luke no and forget John forget, are, uh, forget are, matthew are giving mark an account luke. of jesus's life they're not there's no there's no scripture sent down to them they're giving an account of jesus's life i'm i think you're confused yeah, that's the thing. Those are uh, all opinions by humans themselves. Oh, okay, it, so what is the Quran? It's not an opinion? No. The okay, whole so book. Who, so who wrote the Quran? The Quran was sent by God himself and uh -huh. Prophet so Muhammad who, spoke who it, it and to? his disciple wrote it down. Okay. And did when there was a war, did so he orally passed it down to his disciples, yeah? Yes. And did some of them die? during a war according to islamic tradition oh I will, what's, Abu your, Bakr, point? what's, your, Abu what's your point on that what's your did point? some of them die what's so do you point? think it was fully preserved if some of the disciples that he orally passed down the quran to ended up dying before caliph uthman uh, compiled the entirety of the quran okay if, so how if, can it be fully uh, let's say let's say a some human of, did uh, okay let's say a human did wrote the quran don't you think there will be contradiction in it there are many contradictions in the quran can you point out one yeah thing? yeah I'll, I'll so I'll, I'll talk about one right now so okay do you see it yeah this is how allah makes his revelation clear to you so perhaps you will understand so what is it talking about allah makes his revelation what clear yeah clear to you yeah yeah so the revelation the quran given to to muhammad is clear yeah yeah okay let's go to 15 1. these are the verses of the book right ayat it uses the word ayat so verses right in 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 um arabic that that word is used for verses yeah these are the verses of the book the clear quran yeah yeah okay so the the quran is clear yeah the revelation yeah. given to muhammad is clear yeah yeah okay let's go to 655. this is how we make our signs right so signs in in arabic do you read arabic no i cannot read it okay arabic. okay so the word signs there that's used is ayat let me find it here in arabic Verses. The word is ayat. Well, let's just al ayat. Okay, so ayat. So the word's ayat there, right? But it uses the word signs. But as we know, that ayat in Arabic is used to refer to the verses. Yeah, correct. Yeah, the Arabic words has many meanings. Ayat. Okay. Not it, one it, word it has okay. a, one uh, meaning. Sir, I understand. I very well understand the Arabic meaning in here. Okay, so it's clear. Yeah. Yeah. So the revelation given to Muhammad uh, by Allah is clear. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's go to Ali Imran to 3-7. Let's go to 3-7. Okay, can you can you read that for me? 
It is the one who has revealed to you, O prophet, the book, of which some verses are precise. They are the foundation of the book, while others are elusive. Those with divine Deviant. arts follow the elusive verses, seeking to spread doubt through their okay. false. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Okay, so we just read that the revelation given by Allah to Muhammad was clear, this right? This is not was, referring to the Quran. Yeah, let me let me finish. To... Okay, it was referred. We just I just read two 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 forty two was talking about the Quran being clear. No, the, this particular verse is this this particular. It, no, it's chapter. talking about the. So what what book is it referring to? This is referring to all the other scripture that was sent. What before. other scriptures? It's talking about the Quran, the revelation sent down. What other scriptures existed? It's talking about the Holy Quran here, brother. So no, some, <laughs> no, some, it's not. Some, God is listen. God is some are to listen, brother. The th there's he no argument there. This down. is referring to the Holy Quran. No, it's the, not. Yes, Can you show brother, it to me where where it says brother, it's referring that is to what the Quran? It's referring to. Look, he is the one who has revealed to you, O Prophet, Allah revealing to Muhammad the Prophet. What is he revealing to Muhammad the Prophet? The Quran, brother. It is not talking about any other scriptures. He is the one who has revealed to you, O Prophet, the book, the Quran. He didn't reveal any gospel to him. He didn't reveal the Old Testament. He didn't reveal the Torah to him. He revealed the Quran, brother, to him, okay? So let's let's not get this confused. So that foundation, while others, so some are precise, while others are elusive. So first of all, what is the purpose of elusive verses? What is the purpose of Allah giving elusive verses to guide believers into hell? Because some verses are more important than the others. Okay, so what is the purpose of giving elusive verses then? So that you know what is uh all the things that it, what do you mean there so are that many, you know many, these are elusive listen, verses verses leading people astray verses are not leading people astray what does the word elusive mean that they don't are, make sense right people they they're they're elusive it doesn't make sense it's it's allegorical it's confusing what uh, there i can use many synonyms so so okay so if the quran is clear if the revelation is clear how are some verses elusive we just read three passages and i can cite you more but i just cited three for for the sake of not i i can tell you passages. this right now if this is it not is clear to the how are some verses elusive? If, if can you explain that contradiction to me how are some verses elusive it, there is no contradiction that's a, this is a commentary what commentary i just read you straight from the scriptures i just read you straight from the quran brother what commentary i just read you this is, this is, is a statement clear. the this revelation is, this is not, there is no the contradiction Quran. here the, no, not, why, nothing how is, is no contradicting contradiction? anything 15 1 these are the verses of the book a quran that makes things clear 3 7 some verses of the book are elusive how is that not a contradiction how can something be clear and elusive at the same time that is a that is a contradiction brother that's the definition of a contradiction can you explain that to me no it's not he's saying okay. so much clear uh, so should we elusive. start googling the word contradiction if you like the content like share comment subscribe for more and follow my social medias in the description below i'll see you guys next time and may the grace of our lord jesus be with you